Good, beautiful morning, family, and welcome to Kingdom Moments. Today's focus is Heart Surgery 101. And today's passage for today comes from Luke chapter 6, verse 45. The good man, out of the good treasure of his heart, brings forth what is good. And the evil man, out of the evil treasure, brings forth what is evil. For his mouth speaks from which fills his heart. So I found that these set of instructions from Jesus to be rather interesting at first. You see, to think about how to control the mouth, the next obvious place to go, at least I would think, to deal with the mouth would be the mind, right? So the thoughts come into our mind, we think about them, and maybe for a millisecond, and then out of our mouth sometimes those words come. And that is how I have come to understand the process of overcoming the mouth. As a matter of fact, when you study the word mind in Scripture, the word mind is literally a whole entire process of when the thought comes, you reason on the thought, you agree with the thought, and then you act. That is the picture of the mind. Now, the thoughts, they come into our mind, right? We think about them, like we said, maybe for that millisecond, and then out of our mouths come the words And many times when the words come out, we feel regret or we feel, oh, no. Now, watch this. It would seem that the best course of action for Jesus would be to do some damage control in our minds. Okay? What what do we do to control the damage control in our minds to help us from thinking these thoughts? But Jesus didn't go there, which I think was interesting. He never talked about the mind when he was addressing how to keep your mouth in line with our true identity. I need to say that one more time because here's where things begin to shift. Jesus never talked about the mind when he was addressing how to keep our mouths in line with our true identity. Okay. Instead, Jesus speaks about the heart. He totally skips over the mind. Why? Let's look at the passage again. We see... Jesus said, out of the, what, the good treasure of, what, his heart. See that? Now watch this. That is what the mouth speaks. The focus of the words that come out of our mouth have found a place in our heart, and then they exit when we speak, okay? Now, it's right here most believers just give up. Like, this is too hard, it's just, it's, nothing. it's just, you know. We think we can never change, right? And our lives are going to be forever filled with negative thoughts, negative words. And if it seems too overwhelming, we'll give up and we'll say something like this. I, I'm just not going to change. That's just not going to change anything. And if I say those words, look what I've done. Really. Play them back. I just sabotaged myself. Why? Because I do not believe what God has said about me. But you just talked about evil things coming out of your mouth. I don't understand my true identity yet. And because of that, the enemy tricks and deceives us into thinking that the things that come out of our mouths, that they are actually how we are and that those negative and evil things that come out of our mouth, they just show us that we're evil. But nothing could be farther from the truth. As a matter of fact, what if we were told that the whole concept of evil can have no place in the life of the believer if they refuse to believe the lie. And the lie? That lie is when I speak negative words, damaging words, either to myself or to someone else. I have been deceived into thinking that my heart is evil. Stop for a moment. Read that one more time. 
I have been deceived into thinking that my heart is evil. I didn't say that I was shown the truth that my heart is evil. Where are you going with this? To the word of God. Ready? Because I know there is a huge buildup right now. Watch this. Do you believe that your heart is evil? Do you believe that your heart can be evil? Now, how you answer either one of those questions, yes or no, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to find your Bible, put me on pause, go to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 for me. And I'll wait. Pause, start. Ready? Verse 17, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, chapter 5. Therefore, if some people are in Christ, nope, if any man is in Christ, he is a somewhat new creature, but is dealing with it. He, he is a new creature, and the old things passed away, you know, like an evil heart. Behold, new things have come. As a believer in Christ, your heart is not evil. It can't be, because that would mean that Jesus' heart is evil. Just going to wait for that one for a second. Watch this. Then the next obvious question has to be, how do I stop this negativity from coming out of my mouth? If my heart is not evil, and these things come flying out of my mouth, then what is happening? You're being deceived. Watch. It will be by rest and agreement in the fact of what God has done for you and your identity now in Christ and what he has done to you and what he is doing with you. Once we get that revelation, we will not be the same. See, you're already getting it, some of it. You're already sensing it. Wait a minute. If I don't have an evil heart, then how can I? See, so come back tomorrow and we are going to dig a little bit deeper into this to expose the lie of the enemy so that we see exactly who we are in Christ. And it has nothing to do with an evil heart. I love you, family. Have a wonderful day. God bless and take care.